a cotton padded jacket, and a rose. John and his wife Jenny lived in the dampest and coldest corner of the town. John had a job in the railway bureau as a switchman, which was a very tired and hard job. Jenny had a part-time job in a flower market near their house. After finishing her housework, their life was tough. One dusk in winter, the young couple was having a meal. Suddenly, they hear someone was knocking on their door. When Jenny opened the door, she saw an almost freezing elderly man with a basket of vegetables and said, "Ma'am, I just moved to this block today and lived opposite to you. Do you need some vegetables?" said the elderly man. After speaking the words, he glanced at Jenny's patched apron and looked a little gloomy. "Of course," said Jenny. "Those carrots look great." She handed in several pens with a smile. "Thank you very much, ma'am," gratefully said the elderly man. After shutting the door, Jenny said to her husband lightly, "My father used to do the same to feed our family." The next day, heavy snow came to this small town. In the evening, with a jar of hot soup, Jenny knocked on the door across the street. The two families soon became good neighbors. Every evening, Jenny would come out with a jar of hot soup. In Christmas, Jenny wanted to make a coat for the elderly man and said, "His clothes are too thin. How could he bear this cold winter with such thin clothes?" John agreed with his wife's. Finally, Jenny had finished making the cotton coat. On Christmas Eve, she especially brought back a discounted rose from the florist shop and put it in the paper bag with cotton padded clothes. Jenny placed the bag at the elderly man's door while he was out selling vegetables. After two hours, there was a knock at the door. Jenny opened the door and found the elderly man without his basket. Hi, Jenny," the man said excitedly. "Merry Christmas! I usually accepted your assistance, but I can finally give you a present today." He put out a large paper bag from his bag and said, "A kind-hearted person placed it to my door. It's a very good cotton padded jacket. I already get used to these freezing days. Give it to John. He can use it on a night shift." And the man said. And handed in the rose to Jenny with shyness. Here it is. It's also in that bag. I watered the rose, and it is as beautiful as you. The twinkling crystal water drop on the delicate rose represented the gratitude of the two families. The poor couple is ordinary but great. The old man also has a kind and simple heart. The cotton padded jacket. He sent to John on Christmas Eve, and the sparkling rose he sent to Jenny embodied his sincere love and gratitude for the young couple.